evening. Good evening. Hello, Saul. Welcome. Mario, Chris, maybe. Teacher. Good evening. Hi. Sir, yes, sir. Good evening. Hey, hello, Marcela. Welcome. Welcome. Your voice is nice today. La voz, right, Marcela, nice. Hi, Mario. How, yes. do we, how do you feel today? I'm good, good. Yesterday I was like, like this because, you know, I had problem with Zoom. I was... I understood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And how's the flu, Mario? La gripe. How's the flu? It disappeared? It's a little better, teacher, but Sorry. it's uh, a, 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 a case a, a little complicated. Oh, yeah. So Julio le dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Now let's begin, right? To begin, we're going to check the manual. And remember, I, I said that all the week is just no question, uh, information question, sorry. Information question. Right now, here we have information question uh, with the use of does. Look. Does, right? What does she do? Where does he? Which department does our boss? What time does Miguel start to work? And then notice that in affirmative, you use the S, right? She visits, he goes, supervises. Sorry, teacher, is page 32. 32, Good evening. exactly, yes, exactly. Good evening. Welcome, Jorge, Mr. Orellana. Okay, Josue, welcome. Glenda, Marlon, Mr. Gomez, welcome. Okay. Welcome, teacher. Okay, thank you. Dagoberto, welcome. Uh, then in the, in the question, you say, she do no notice that you don't say she does he says what does she does what does she does no what does she do where does he go which department does our boss supervise no supervises supervise start so in this case the bear doesn't have an s right supervise and start okay so that's it now listen and repeat please what does she do on saturday and sunday she visits other companies and has meetings where does he go on tuesday's afternoon He goes to the company's headquarters. Which department does our boss supervise? Our boss supervises the marketing department. Okay. What time does Miguel start to work? What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Okay, now let's do it together. Here we have some questions. I have two messages too. Let me see. Um, Ernesto Oyente and Dagoberto Ochente. Oh. Hello. Ernesto Melgar Lima, okay. And Mr. Dagoberto. Monteagudo, right? Okay. Let's continue, right? Ah, eh, Christian, good evening. I will... Ah, ah, one hour. One hour, said Chris, right? The second hour, eh, participant. 
Very good, Christian. Good. Thank you. Now, here we are, right? Mm, let me maximize this a little bit. Yes, something like this. Okay, good. Now, we were practicing a lot with this question, right? Now, let's do it together, right? Why? Why does he have a meeting? Why does he have a meeting? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mario. Next one, right? Saul, can you try? Where? Where does she process the payments? What is payment, teacher? Pagos. Uh, payments. Anytime. Uh, payments. Is the payments. Uh, payments. Where does she process the the payments, right? Los pagos. I imagine she's the accountant. So, again. Why does he have? Why does he have? Where does she process? You know? All the questions. Four elements. Four elements, right? WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Next one, right? Uh, Marlon, can you try number three, Mar Marlon? What does English um, do on Wednesday? Es correcto, teacher. Es perfect. ¿Por qué está el do eh, luego? Porque ya es el Good propio question. verbo y primero se utiliza como auxiliar. Excellent question. And you, and you give the answer, right? Usted mismo se dio la respuesta, mano. Yes, it's true. Eh, Pero esa era la, mi lógica, entonces es así. Ah, bueno, yes, okay. it's true, it's true. Yes, let me show you, let me show you, right? Let me show you. Do equal to say in Spanish, hacer. For example, hacer la, la, la ropa. Do the laundry, right? Hacer la, la lavada. Do homework. Hacer la tarea. Hacer. Do. Do, right? Is the action, but also is an auxiliary. So in this case, the auxiliary is das. Das, right? No, no, no. Sorry, excuse me. Here, right? Das. And the verb is do. And as you know, every time you use the auxiliary, Marlon, every time you use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to change the verb. It's not necessary to say what does Ingrid okay. does. Does, right? It's a rule. It's not necessary. We say every time. I'm sorry. Me borró esta. <laughs> okay. So it's not necessary. Okay. Here, other example. Do you don't say she processes? No, she processes. He have. We don't say he has. No, it's not necessary, right? Okay, Griselda. Say, oh, for a moment, okay. Good. That's okay, Griselda. Now let me check. Griselda Abigail Rosales. Okay. Good. Let's continue, right? Uh, now, number four, right? Number four. Uh, can you help me, Mario? I don't know. You already participated, right, Mario? No, uh, Jorge. Yes, Jorge. Okay. When? When, Jorge?
Mr. Orellana, can you, do you copy? 10-4, 10-4, Mr. Orellana. I'm not sure, but uh, when... I don't know. Oh, come on. It's, it's confused. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. Remember, uh, WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Oh, you're yeah. kidding, right? You're kidding, Jorge. You're kidding, right? No, it's, it's, well, it's true. Sorry, George. You're kidding, right? Está bromeando, right? No. <laughs> no. Ah, es que ando un poco, ando un poco desubicado, pero... Ah, okay, good. So what is the auxiliary? Do or da? Do. Does. Da, right? Does. When does... Um, the employer. Mm. The employee. The employee, right? Why? In a... Teacher. Yes. Employer es como empleado, es singular, ¿verdad? Yes, it's true. Employee. Ah, okay. Employer mm -hmm. is ad... employees. Y ad... adquire. Adquire is adquirir. Ah, ad... oh, ya. Yeah. Yo no entendía eso. But... What the, when does the employee acquire 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 the raw matter material right Mat la materia cruda la materia prima right el acquire no soy acquire we acquire. Add the teacher I ah, know yeah uh, it's because it's more logic it's more logic because it's a when does employee no, the employee o oh. okay and uh, empleador is employer and empleado is employee okay so they have more messages eh, Claudia se noches profe hoy se le quedé diciendo ah oh, le tocó turno oh sorry thank you Claudia thank you for the information Good. Now, bueno, ni modo, le vamos a poner falta a Daisy porque no va a poder estar, ¿verdad? Le ha tocado turno a Daisy. Yes. Ok, continue, please. So, repeat after me. Why does he have a meeting? Oops, sorry. Where does she process the payments? What does Ingrid do on week on Wednesdays? Sorry. When does the employee acquire the raw material? When does the employee acquire the raw material? Okay, good. Now, any extra question, class? More messages? Listen for the moment. Saul, okay, Saul. I got it. Solo que me dejan sin participantes. <laughs> okay, let's take the attendance. Say present, please. Eh, Ana María. Present. Welcome. Brian. Claudia. Claudia. Present. Okay, good. Thank you, Claudia. Present. Okay, thank you. Glenda? Present. Jorge? Present. Josué? Present. Carolina? Marcela? Present, teacher. Mario? Present, teacher. Marlon? Marlon? 
Marlon, Mr. Gómez Alvarado, Marlon, Marlon, bueno, ahí está Marlon, yes. Digamos que dijo presente. Maybe. Present. Excelente. Tempranito en casa, maybe. Sí, hoy descansé. Excelente. Oso. Ok. Now, eh, Otmar. Mr. Mendizábal González. Está fuera de servicio, teacher. Oh, oh sorry. <risa> el servicio, quiere decir que está trabajando no, teacher, está enfermo <risa> oh, ya lo entendí <risa> I'm sorry bueno, esperamos que recupere, no es nada serio la misma gripa ah este Mario nos contagió a todos hombre, ¿qué pasó Mario? <risa> ok, good eh Yancy ya me contagiaron hasta Yancy <risa> Ok, continue, please. Let's continue. Now we're going to review a material. Teacher, a mí se me fue la señal hace unos minutos. Ah, ok. Eh, ya, le, ya le puse asistencia, Marlon. No okay, sé. Ahí estaba de gritarle, pero dije, no, quizás Marlon está fuera de servicio también. De... <risas> Ando detrás del niño y, y se me va la señal. Donde... Alessandrito, ¿verdad? Alessandro, ¿verdad? Marlon. Bueno, ok. He works in a hotel, right? Uh, let's continue practicing with the information questions. Listen, please. Page 51, exercise 3, conversation. He works in a hotel. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay, now listen again and repeat, please. L. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. He's the manager. Okay, very good. Now, any question about vocabulary? Any word that you don't understand? Questions? The phrase is, he hates it. Is, is, uh, he hates it. It's a, it's a like sound. Teacher? Hates it, yes, it's true. Like, uh, like he hates it. it. He hates it. He love he loves it. He likes it. He, he needs how, it. Da, how how does he like it? Sounds similar. 
How does he like it? Uh huh. Uh -huh. How, how does no. he like it? Yes, like uh, it, like it, like it. Mm -hmm. Look at this. How does he like it? We, we put the the two sounds together. We say, like, like it, like it. He right? hates it. He hates and it. And hates it. Hates it. Okay. We have many many examples like this. For example, uh, oh, sorry, I have another message. Uh, Podré estar de oyente. Me disculpo de antemano. Carolina dice, no poder participar y prometo repartir la semita, dice, dice Carolina. Bueno, está bien, no hay problema, no nos enojamos. Puede mandarnos la semita. <laughs> ok, good. Carolina va a estar de oyente. Regálame un segundito, please. Okay, let's continue. So here we have many examples. Oh, sorry. No. Ah, okay. Dice Carolina que sí está dispuesta. A darnos la semita. <laughs> Okie dokie, right? Okay, good. Let's continue. Uh, here we have some examples. Look. For example, with love. I love her. Love her. I love him. I love them. I love her. I love him. I love them. You don't say, I love her. I love her. I love her. I love him. I love them. With need. Let's change the, the subject. You need it. You need it. You need her. You need her. You need her. You don't say you need her. No, you need her. You need, need him. You need them. Them, right? Okay. The same happened with like or hates, right? I like it. I like it. You like him. Te gusta él, right? You like her. You like them. Like them. Like them. Te gustan ellos, right? You like them. You like them. So it's a link sound, Mario. It's a link sound. Good, good, good question. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. If no question, repeat after me. Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? We have here WH word auxiliary your brother is the subject and the verb work right where does your brother work repeat after me please in a hotel in a hotel oh really my brother works in a hotel too my brother works in a hotel too He's a front desk clerk. He's a front desk clerk. Empleado en la recepción, right? Recepcionista. How does he like it? How does he like it? How does he like? So again, WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. How does he like it? He hates it. Lo odia, right? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. Le cae gordo el, el jefe, right? He doesn't like the manager. Repeat, please. He doesn't like the manager. 
That's too bad. That's too bad. Mm. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? What? What hotel does he work? What hotel does he work? Right, right? The plaza. The plaza. That's funny. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? What does he do? Notice that in this case, we don't have the complement, right? Only the four elements. Marcela, I forgot the elements. Can you remind me, please? What are the four elements, Marcela, again? I forgot. The microphone, Marcela, the four elements of the information. Excuse me. WH, auxiliary, um, complement, no, and subject, verb. Subject. Subject and verb. Thank you. Uh, I, I forget. Marlon, again, please. What are the four elements? Okay. Uh, I'm too tired. Uh, uh, well, lo siento. no problem. Uh, Marlon, pero no nos hacemos responsables de, de su cansancio después de la clase de inglés. Porque, okay. porque óigame, tiene que andar siguiendo a Alessandro. <laughs> En toda la clase, ¿verdad, Marlon? No, ahorita ya no estaba con él. Pero veo que, lo, que le toca andarlo siguiendo toda la clase, ¿verdad? Está bien, ok. Pero no nos hacemos responsables del cansancio, Marlon. Oiga. ¿Sí me entiende, Marlon? No, teacher, no. No, no, no me entiende. Es que como anda detrás del niño, se cansa, ¿verdad? pero... Le, le dicen, ah, ¿por qué está cansado? Ah, por la clase de inglés. <laughs> Pero no por la clase de inglés. Ok, come on. Marlon, okay, okay. what are the four elements? What are the four elements? I will give you the first one. WH word. Continue, Marlon. Auxiliary. Subject and verb, right? Only you, Marlon. Repeat. Eh, eh, como... W's word. W's word. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary. Uh, uh -huh. Auxiliary verb. Uh -huh. Auxiliary. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Auxiliary verb. Verbo. No, subject. Subject. Uh, su subject and verb. Okay. That's it, right? Good. Don't forget that. Uh, Thank you. Thank no, you very much. No, no, no. Now, uh, to, yeah, yeah, I know. You're very tired. Se nota que está bien cansado, Marlon. Tranquilo, ahí. Tranquilo, tranquilito. Ok. Eh, Josué también está mal. Ya, Mario ya ve. Ya nos contagió a, a, a Josué también. Ve. Va a estar de oyente, dice Josué. Dele la solución del viernes. Mañana es viernes, Mario. La solución del viernes, ¿cuál es? Mario. Go to house. Take a tea. Drink a tea. Drink, drink tea and drink go tea. to your house. Go tea and go to the bed. Go to Pero algo aquí con no. Pues uh, algo fuertecito como un chocolate, ¿verdad? We have a oh, semita wow. alta, teacher. Semita de la ayúdame a vivir, yes. Okay, let's see. Marcela, 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 ha, Marcela has the, the chocolate. Ah, okay, good. Eh, Marlon, yes, Marlon. ¿Cómo se dice tomar un descanso? Take a rest. Ok, take, that's right. Take, take a rest. A rest. You, you need, so you say, I need to take a rest. I need to take oh. a rest. Uh -huh. 
I need to take a rest. Thank you. Okay. I understand. I understand. Don't worry. Let me see. Just to copy that Armando, José Armando is listener. Todos se me están huyendo. Vamos a ver, José eh, Armando, yes. Good. Now let's practice the conversation. Please, let's practice the conversation. Eh, Ana María and Claudia, please. Ana María, you're Rachel. Uh, Claudia, you're Angela, right? Are you ready, girls? Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, directly from Miss Universe. <laughs> okay. We have Ana Maria and Claudia. Action. Where does your brother work? In our hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a from the square. So How does he like Again, Claudia? How does he like it? How <laughs> does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like he, the manager. Again, Ana Maria, he hates it. He hates it. Okay. Claudia? Uh, that's too bad. What hotel does he work for? Ana Maria? The plus. That's funny. My brother was there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. He's the manager. El, el malo, right? He's the manager. Okay. Good. Thank you very much. Nice. Nice. Now, let me see. Uh, can you help me, please, uh, Glenda? And Jorge, please. Glenda, you're Rachel, Jorge, you're Angela, right? Are you ready? One, two, three, action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother in an hotel too. He's from this team. How does he like it? Like it? He like, like it? it. Mm -hmm. He hates. Como dijo teacher, he, he hates it. He hates it. He mm -hmm. doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The place. That's funny. My brother was here too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Uh, actuality. Actuality? Actually, 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 he's the manager. Okay, very good. And then say the word interesting, 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 funny, funny, manager, manager, like it, like it, hates it, hates it. Actually, actually. Listen again. Conversation in a hotel. Listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk clerk. How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. He's the manager, right? Now, please, can you help me? Uh... Mario, please. Mario and... And Marlon, Mario, you're Rachel, Marlon, you're Angela. 
Ready? One, two, three, action. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk clerk. How does like uh, no? How does he like it? He hates it. He doesn't like the manager. That is uh, too bad. The hotel does he work for the plaza. That's funny. My brother works there here too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okie dokie, right? Thank you. Let's continue with the practice. Uh, Marcela. And, uh, and maybe. Yes. Marcela and maybe. Please, Marcela, you're Rachel. Marcela, you're Rachel. And maybe you are Angela, right? One. Two, three, action. Where does your brother work? In an hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a front desk clear. How does I like it? How does he like it? Repeat. How does I like it? How does he like it? How, how does he, he like, like it? Yes. He hates it. He does like the manager. Does to beat no. what hotel does to work for? The plaza. That's funny, my brother works did it too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Very good. Interesting, interesting. How does he like it? How does he like it? Means, le gusta? Le gusta, pero le asusta, you know? How does he like it? How does he like it, you know? Okay, class. Thank you very much. Now we were practicing the information question, right? Continue practicing, practicing, practice. Right now, let's go to the next page. And let's practice more, right? Yes, here. Okay. Now, listen, please. Page 52, exercise four, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay. Thank you very much. Now listen and repeat. Please listen and repeat. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it.
Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. They hate it, right? Okay, one more time, one more time. Please, listen. Page 52, exercise four, grammar focus. Simple present WH questions. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a store. What do they do? They're cashiers. How do they like it? They hate it. Okay, now, any question? Any question? No question. No questions, okay, dokey. Now, let's start working, right? Let's start working. Uh, I will give you one or two minutes, right? And then we're going to do it together, right? One or two minutes. Le voy a dar unos dos minutitos, right? Let's complete with the information question word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Yes? Okay. Okay, ready? Let's go to number one, right? What does your sister do? My sister, she's a nurse. Ana Maria, please. Ana Maria? Hola. Okay. Uh, does she... What? Here we have the question, look. Where does he work? Where does, sorry, what does he do? Or how does he like it? Now, in the question one. Um, where? 
Where does she? Mm, Okay, como di? Ana María. Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> what or how? What or how? How does? Mm -hmm. How does she? Do or like? Like. Like, thank you. How does she like it? Very good. It's difficult, but she loves it. It's difficult, but she loves it, right? Okay. Next one, please, Claudia, number two. That's your brother, and it says in a hotel. What do you think, Claudia Comodin? <laughs> okay, good, continue, so continue. Okay, I will give you three options. So, uh, what does? Okay, look at the answer. The answer is in a hotel. In a hotel. Mm -hmm. So, what is a hotel? Mm -hmm. Where? Where, correct. Where does your brother? Live or work? Work. Work, correct. In a hotel. He's a front desk clerk. Oh. Mm hmm what or how, Claudia? What or how? Uh, what or how? 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 Correct. How? How, right? How does he, he like. Ah. like it? How does he like it? And he says, uh, he doesn't really like it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, next one, please. Who's next in the list? Uh, mm, Glenda, please. Number three, Glenda. How do you parents? Uh-huh, how? How do your parents? Like. Like. Their job, okay. right? Jokes. Oh, I guess they like them. I don't remember. Mm. In an office in uh, the city. What do they do? What they, do they do? ¿Qué es lo que hacen en una oficina en la ciudad? Mm. No, no. Eh, sería... Quiero ver. When? When? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow? No, no. No, no, right. Office. Uh huh, uh huh. So, what is the question? Sería... When, where, what? how, or what? Where? Where, correct. Uh -huh. Where do they? Do. Where do they? Do. 
Mm. Where, no, where do they, like, no, where do they, quiero ver, where do they, from, no. Okay, look, number two, where does your brother work uh, in a where hotel? Where do they, where do they work? Where do they work? My goodness. <laughs> Excelentoso, right, Glenda? Thank you very much. Now, after Glenda, I have a... Jorge. Number four, Jorge. Oh, I have another message. Let me see. I'm ready to participate. Very good, Dagoberto. Welcome to the party. Aha, uh -huh, Jorge. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Do, right? Right. I'm a student, I see. Mm. They're great. Son chiva la clase, you know. They're great. I like them a lot. I like them. I like them a lot. What They're do like... you like? How do you like? Correct. How do you like? Do you like your classes, right? How do you like your classes? They're great. I like them a lot. Okay. Now we have four conversations to practice. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What does your sister do? My sister? She's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Conversation two. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. He's a front desk clerk. He's a front desk clerk. Oh, how does he like it? He doesn't really like it. Conversation three. How do your parents like their jobs? How do your parents like their jobs? Oh, I guess they like them. Supongo, I guess. I guess they like them. I suppose, I imagine, I guess. They like it, them. I don't remember. Where do they work? Where do they work? In an office in the city. What do you do? I'm a student. I see. How do you like your classes? How do you like your classes? They're great. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Now, let's repeat, please. Uh, let's practice, I mean, right? Uh, who's going to make it? Adago uh, is ready for the participation, right? Oh, um, where's my pencils? Just give me a second. Mm 
Okay, good. So, Dagoberto, conversation one, please. Your letter A, Dago. Okay. And let me see. Marcela participate right now. Hey, Mario, please. Mario, your letter B in conversation one, right? Ready? One, Ready. Two, three, action. What does your sister do? My sister? She's a nurse. How does she like it? It's difficult, but she loves it. Loves it? Loves it. Loves it. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Conversation two, please. Uh, Marlon, your letter A, Mar Marlon, in conversation two. Okay. And maybe you are letter B, conversation two. Ready? One, two, three, action. Yes. What does your sister do? No, number two, number two. Where does your brother oh, work? Uh -huh. Number two. Yes. Where does your brother work? In hotel, he's for the explain. Oh, how does he like it? How does he really like it? He doesn't? Uh, he doesn't really like it. Okie dokie. Thank you very much, right? Thank you, maybe. Thank you, Marlon. Now, uh, sorry, let me see. Jancy. No, Jancy is not here today. Mm, Brian? No, Brian, right? Okay, let's let's come back to Ana Maria. Ana Maria, conversation three. Ana Maria, your letter A. And Claudia again. Claudia, your letter B. Conversation three, right? Ready? One, two, three. Action. How do your parents like in their jobs? Oh, I they like I don't remember where do they work? In the office in the field. Good. Office in the city, right? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ana Maria and Claudia. Conversation four, right? Uh, again, I need the participation of um, Glenda and Jorge, right? Glenda, your letter A. Jorge, your letter B. Action. What do you do? I am a student. I see. How do you like your class? That's great. I like them a lot. Okay. Easy, right? Easy. Now, any extra question, class? Any extra question? No question, teacher. No question? Now, how do you feel now? ¿Cómo se sienten ahora? ¿Creen que ya vamos entendiendo el information question? Ya tenemos días de darle, ¿verdad? Así que espero que, que ya vamos... Entendiendo el tema, okay? Let me see. Uh, then here, right? Now, this exercise is interesting. I like it, right? Me gusta este ejercicio. Now, the question is, where do they work? Question one. Question two. What do they do? And question three. How do they like it? Right? Good. Uh, look at the picture number one, David. Where does David work? What does he do? How does he like it? Laura. Where does she work? What does she do? And how does she like it, right? Brian and Jessica. Where do they work? What do they do and how do they like it, right? Three questions, three questions, simple, right? Now I need two volunteers. Two volunteers for conversation one with David, right? Two volunteers, raise your hands. Volunteers? Two volunteers. 
Only two. A, B. Yes. Two volunteers. It's simple. You just make the question, right? And the answers are in the picture. For example, David. Does David work in an office, in a park, or in a school? In, a, in an office. In an office, right? And what does he do? He is the manager or he is the receptionist? The receptionist. Probably is the it? receptionist. Or, or, the, or secretary, maybe, right? Secretary, yeah. Or probably, I don't know. And how does he like it? Do you see the picture? He is happy? He doesn't like it, his work. Maybe he doesn't like it because the face is not very happy, right? Okay, good. Now, two volunteers, please. Two volunteers. Yo, pues. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Okay, you make the question, Jorge. You make the question. Another volunteer? Another volunteer, please. Help me, help me. Help me. Aquí equivocando nos aprendemos. Yes, totally right, Jorge. That's it, right? Mario. Okay, thank you, Mario. Okay, uh, Jorge, the question. Mario, the answers. Ready? Get set? Yes. Go. Uh, pero lo que quiero, quiero entender bien. Yo le voy a hacer la pregunta de lo que mm -hmm. estoy viendo de David. David, yes. Según yeah. La, uh, yeah. Se, entonces sería, where does David work? Yeah, okay. Mario? He works in an office. Uh, <coughs> uh, where does Laura what does? work? No, 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 no. No, no, no. David, David. What David. does? What does? Oh, ya, ya, ya entendí, ya entendí. What does... Um... What does David? What does David do? Do. What does sí. David do? Uh -huh. sí. What does David do? He's, does a, David he's do? a secretary. He's a secretary. He's a secretary. I, I guess he's a secretary man or, or yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Jorge. Uh, no sé, help me. How does... Okay, let's look at the question. Look. Where does David work? Okay. What does he do? How does he like it? Okay. Okay, repeat the conversation. Come on, let's repeat the okay. conversation. Where does David work? Mario? He, he hates it. No, he works. The, uh, repetition, repetition of the conversation, Mario. He doesn't like it, I guess. No, no, no. Jorge, no begin. Where, where does David work? Again. Uh, Again. He works in, in an office. Uh, what does David do? He is a secretary. Uh, how does David like it? He doesn't like it. His work. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like thanks, it. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, okay. No, no, that's okay. That's good. That's good, right? Now, Laura. Laura, right? Two volunteers for Laura. Two volunteers. Teacher. Okay, Dagoberto. Dagoberto and Glenda. Thank you. So, uh, Glenda, what do you do? Uh, uh, what do you want to do? Make the questions or the answers? The questions the or answer. the answer? The answer. Okay. So, Dago, mm -hmm. you make the question. Three questions, Dago. Okay. One, two, three. Action. Where does Laura, Laura work? Uh, she works in a school. Works? She uh -huh. works in a school. What does... He do. She. she do. What does she do? 
she's a teacher? How does she, she like it? She's a happy. She like it. She like. She like it, right? Happy. Because she happy. Because she like it. How does she like she it? Like. She like. Or you can say she, she like. loves it. She loves it. Uh huh. Okay. Like Thank it. you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now two more volunteer for Brian and Jessica. Brian and Jessica. But this is easy because you have the question here, right? Están las preguntas de where do they work, what do they do, how do they like it, right? Volunteers? I want to make a question. Okay, good. Thank you, Marlon. I need another, another yeah. volunteer. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? Ana Maria? Marcela? Sal salvation, please, salvation. <laughs> Marcela, okay, thank you, Marcela. Me, <laughs> okay, good, I will help you, don't worry, I will help you. Now, please. Ready, Marlon? Okay. Where do you, well, no, no, where, no. They, they, where do they? Where they work, um, Brian and Jessica? No, 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 uh, Marlon, look, the questions are here. Where do they work? Tal cual como está ahí. No, no, you can change it. Si quieres diga los nombres. Where, pero en orden. Where do Je Brian and Jessica work? Okay. Oh. Where do Brian and Jessica work? Ajá, uh -huh. okay. In office. Uh -huh. They, work, they, in they work, office. They work. They work. They work in office. Mm. Maybe it's a store, right? Es, como que es una uh, tienda, ajá. Uh -huh. Están yeah. vendiendo ahí tela, ¿eh? store. 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 Store, yeah. They, they work, work in, in a store. They work in a store. Mm -hmm. How do they no, what, like what, it? what do they? What do they, Brian and Jessica, like it? No, no, no. What do they do? ¿Por qué what? Eh, ¿Qué hacen? ¿A qué se dedican, right? What do they do? Bueno. Mm -hmm. Ah, faltaba ese, ¿cierto? Me adelanté. Ah, yeah. What do they do? Uh, they do. They are sales they are... people. Puede decir vendors, vendedores, o puede decir sales people. Sales they are... people? Mm -hmm. Ellos son vendedores. They ¿sí? are sales people. Good. Now, Marlon. How do they like it? I like it. Look at the face. I don't. I, they. You like. They don't. Or they hate it. They, they hate, hate it. it. Like it. Uh -huh. Vean las caritas. Están felices. No tanto. No mucho, they, hate they hate it. They hate it. They hate it. Están como yo a las 11 de la mañana. <laughs> oh, yes. O como el teacher <laughs> metiendo notas en los cuadros. <laughs> ah, qué bien. Yes. A mí me gusta mucho la clase, pero ya meter notas ya es más otra cosa. <laughs> ok. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no solo hay un alumno nada más que le voy a poner mala nota. Gómez creo que es la pedido. Ok. Good. Now, ah, well. <laughs> Ojalá. No, Marlon, it's not true. Come on. You're good. You're good. Now, please listen. Page 52, exercise 5. Pronunciation. Reduction of do. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do. Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? Where do you? Do you? Do you? Where do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you do? What do you do? What do you work? Where do you work? And do they? Where do they? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Where do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Where do they work? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they do? Do they do? 
Again, again, listen, please. Page 52. Deduction of do. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do. Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? What do they do? Do they? Do they? Do they? Do you? Do you? Do you? Okay? Now, uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Maybe, please. Repetition, maybe. Only you. Only you. Okay, maybe. Repetition. Where do you work? Do you? Do you? Do you work? Uh huh. The, what do you do? What do you? What do you? What do you do? What, what do you do? What do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Uh -huh. What Again. do you do? Así. No, 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 no. Those, no, no slowly. Tiene que ser no, rápido, maybe. Uh -huh. What, what, okay. what do you do? What do you do? What do you? <laughs> what do ah, you do? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Next one. Where do they work? Where do they? Do they? Do they? Do they? Where do they work? What do they do? What do they? What do they? What do they do? Okay, what very do good. They? What do they? Do they? Do they? Do they? Do they? Do they? What do they do? What do they do? Where do you work? What do you do? Where do they work? Okay. Uh, you know, fast, fast, very fast, right? Okay, thank you very much. Now, Marlon, only you, please. Only you. Repeat, please. Marlon? Okay, Mario, please. Mario? Where you work? Where do where, you where do where you? you where do you work? What do you do? Where do you where do you ah where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you, they work? What do they do? Okie dokie, thank you very much. That, 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 that's all, folks. Eso es todo, amiguitos. Now let's go to the presentation, right? Ayer nos quedaron unos ejercicios pendientes. Sorry, pero los vamos a terminar ahora. Yes. Teacher, una consulta. Yes, tell me. En teoría, ¿por qué número de tarea tendríamos que ir? Tendrían que ir por la tarea 12 y esta noche la 13. Uh, yes. Sí. Yes. <risa> no sabía. ¿Por cuál va usted? Jorge. ¿Por cuál va usted? No sé, creo que voy por la 19, creo. Oh. <risa> yo, pensé no sé. había, yo pensé que ya, ya iba por la 23. <risa> no, hay, llegué a una parte que no le entendí, porque decía positivo, negativo y neutral, y ahí me quedé, ya no, no entendí esa parte. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál número es? Creo que es la 20, teacher. Ah, ok, lo vamos a hacer juntos. El viernes, hoy estamos 20... No, 16, ¿verdad? 16. Uh -huh. eh, lo haríamos por ahí del 23 o 24. ¿Yes? Muy bien. Yes. Ok. ¿Claudia? Ajá, Claudia. ¿Questions? No, la profe, es que se trató de retirar que se era que no hay problema. Perdón, repítame. ¿Sí? Repítame, que casi no le copié, Claudia. Sí. No, 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 casi no le copio, no, no sé, no sé si soy yo, pero... No, no se escucha, Ticho. Lo, lo último, Claudia, Claudia, última vez, disculpe que, que, la, que la moleste, pero que casi no le copio. Eh, no hay problema, me dice, no hay problema, pero no le alcanzo a escuchar. ¿Qué pasó? Ajá. Claudia, la última vez, vamos a ver. Ah, vení pues. Permítame, Jorge, voy a... Voy a silenciar un ratito. Ya te ya. lo voy a dar, espérame, espérame. Ok, antes que Jorge se lo dé, pues nosotros vamos a tratar de escuchar a Claudia aquí. Ok, Claudia, última vez. 
Vamos a ver. Enciéndame el micrófono, Claudio. Es que no le capto. Ajá. Enciéndame el micrófono, Claudia. Claudia, me copia. Va, entonces le vamos a escribir a Claudia, permítanme. Quizás tiene problema con la señal. Ajá, dice... Uh, uh, me ret... Ah, ok. Sí, muy bien, es cierto, ya, ya lo entendí. Ya lo entendí, Claudia, no se preocupe. Ya ahí va el mensaje, ok. Good. No problem, Claudia. No problem. Good, let's continue, right? Let's continue, class. Ok, very good. Bien, nosotros aquí seguimos, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Again, the question, right? Information question. What does she do? Where, where, does, where does he go? Which department does our boss supervise? What time does Miguel start to work? Right? Good. WS word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. W is word, auxiliary, subject, verb. No incluye el complemento porque en algunas preguntas no aparece el complemento. So, w is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Para el viernes todos tienen que memorizarse estas cuatro. Yes. W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. Right? Okay. What do you need? What does she want? What do they want? Why does she like it? What color do you want? What size does he need? Which sweater do you want? Which shoes does she like? Okay, now let's go to do and does, right? When do or does they? Do or does, class? Come on, help me. Do. 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 Correct. Do. Next one. What time? Does, does. does she make dinner? What time does she make dinner? Excelentoso. Now, how often? Do you? Do. 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 The subject is your does. son. Your son. Does. Right? Does. 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 Your, son. your is a possessive adjective. It's not a pronoun. Is not a pronoun. Your is a possessive adjective, right? And all the possessive adjectives have a noun next. So you say your son, your car, your pencil, your house, your your friend, etc. Et right? In this case, your son, tu hijo, right? Your son. How often does your son play football, right? Football. Good. Next one. What time? Again, look. Your son. Uh, your son. That's, that's, that's correct. That's. What time does your son come home? Okay. Next one. How often? Do. Do, right? Do you. Do you clean your room? In this case, yes, it's, it's you, right? Okay. What time does she go to bed? Does, 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 does right? Does she go to bed? Next one. Do your does. teacher. Does your no, teacher does your teacher. One. Does. Be careful, does. right? Veo que se me están confundiendo con el your. Este es un poses possessive adjective, no es sujeto. El sujeto completo es your teacher. It's only one teacher. So you say does, right? Does. Be careful, no me confunda, okay? Now. How often? Does Franz, uh, Francisco do? Does Francisco do? Does Francisco, right? 
Okay, repeat after me, please. When do they go to the mall? When do they go to the mall? What time does she make dinner? What time does she make dinner? How often does your son play football? The, how often does your son play football? What time does your son come home? What time does your son come home? How often do you clean your room? How often do you clean your rooms? What time does she go to bed? What time does she go to bed? When does your teacher check your homework? When does your teacher check your homework? How often does Francisco do the laundry? How often does Francisco do the laundry? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now let's continue. Christian, are you ready to participate, Christian? Yes, I do. Excellent also. Yes, okay, now, where? Let's make question with where, right? Where do your parents work? Your parents work. Where do your parents work? Good. Next one, please. Christian. Come on, Chris. Maria's brother. Maria's brother. Go shopping. Go shopping. Right? Uh -huh. what, is the, what is the question? Let's start with where, right? Mm -hmm. where, where? Where? Ah. Uh, confused. Was, okay, remember. W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Now, here in this moment, we have where, W is word. What is next? What is next? Does. Does, correct. Where does? Now, the subject. Your parents. No, Maria's brother. Number two. Sorry. Uh -huh. Maria's. Maria's brother. Maria's brother. Uh-huh. Go shopping. Go shopping, excellent also. Go shopping. Thank you very much, Chris. Thank you very much. Ana Maria, please. Siempre comenzamos con Ana Maria, ¿verdad? Okay, Ana Maria. Number three. Ana María. Ajá. Where do mm, her friend, su amigo de ella, singular o plural? Singular. Ajá, so do or does. Do. Mm, das. No. Das. Where does? Uh -huh. Where does? Study English. Uh -huh. But you miss the subject. Le faltó el sujeto. Her friend. Her friend, correct. Her friend. Stud. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Study English. Study. <laughs> Study English, right? Okay. Ah. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Now, next one, please, Dagoberto. What? Ah, no, con where, sería. Where do you eat lunch? Where do you eat lunch? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you, Dago. Now, oops, who's next after Dago? Mm, Glenda, please. Where do they listen to music? Excelente. Also, 
Yes. Number six, right? Jorge? Again, right? Come on, Jorge. Uh, where, uh, where do? <laughs> where do? Uh, where do Roberto and Eric exercise? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good. Next one, please. Can you help me? Uh, Marcela, please. Number seven, Marcela. Where does... His sister work? Where does his sister work? Perfect. Thank you. Right, number eight, please. Can you help me? Eh, Marcela. Ah, hoy tenemos poquitos participantes. <laughs> okay, Marcela and Mario. Mario, please. Number eight, Mario. Mario, do you copy? Yeah, teacher. I'm yeah. here. Uh, yeah, but... Where does your brother work? Is it correct? Mm, no, because it's the, the verb is do the laundry. Ah. Number, number eight, right? Uh, okay. Lavar la ropa, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. When, uh, when? No, no, no. Where does? Where does your brother do the laundry? Where does your brother do the laundry? Okay, good. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Where do your parents work? Where does Maria's brother go shopping? Where does her friend study English? Where do you eat lunch? Where do they listen to music? Where do Roberto and Eric exercise? Where does his sister work? Where does your brother do the laundry? Okay. Good. Any question? So let's continue, please. Good. Now, this part is very difficult. So please, please pay attention, right? Pay attention. Question with who? When we talk about who, we refer to a person, to people, right? It's not places, no objects, no time. No, 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 no. It's people, right? And when do you use who? For example, we say, who visits your uncle in La Unión? My father does. Okay, so this is an information question or WS question, right? You know, but notice the elements. What are the elements? The elements are number one, who? Who, right? Number two, 
visits. Uh huh. And only that who visit, right? But what happened with uh W's word auxiliary subject verb, right? No, right? In this case, no. In this case, no. But how? Como así? How? Well, let me show you. Who visits your uncle in La Unión? My father does. ¿Quién es la persona que visita tu tío en La Unión? My father. So who is the subject? The subject, el que hace la acción, en este caso sería my father. Right? ¿Por qué no ponemos my father en la pregunta? ¿Por qué no se pone my father? It's simple, class. It's simple. Porque si no, ya supiéramos la respuesta. Entonces, ¿para qué preguntar? <ríe> si esa es la pregunta, precisamente, ¿quién es el visitador? ¿Quién es el que visita? ¿no? Eso estamos preguntando, eso queremos saber. Pero si ya tenemos la respuesta, ¿para qué vamos a preguntar, verdad? ¿Quién, mi papá visita a mi tío en la unión? No, no, come on, no, right? So, in this case, the subject is my father. So, every time who is the subject, you omit the auxiliary. Cada vez que el who se usa como sujeto, right? So, it's not necessary the auxiliary. It's not necessary the auxiliary. Understand? Okay? Good. Now, let's go to the other example, right? Let's go to the other example. Who does your father visit in La Unión? My father visit my uncle. My uncle. So in this case, notice that we have WS word. I want to change the color. Auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. The four elements. Why is that? Why is that? Okay, ¿cómo es eso que en uno usamos el auxiliary y en el otro no? Okay, this is because... Uh, who is not the subject? Mm -mm. Who is not the subject? Who is the object? I will play. I will place this in this form. Right? In the first question, in la primera pregunta, el que visita es el papá, right? Okay. In the second question, el visitado es el tío, right? Ok, so en la primera este who quiere decir my father y en la segunda este who quiere decir my, my uncle, right? Ok, y dónde está el sujeto en la segunda pregunta, ah, aquí está, your father. Entonces el que visita es el papá, siempre es él el que visita. ¿Y quién es el visitado? El tío. Pero en la segunda estamos preguntando quién es el visitado, ¿no? ¿Quién es el objeto de visita? ¿Ok? Good. I will make another question for you. I will make another example, right? Uh, Mario, what's the name of your mother? Ruth. Ruth. Ok, thank you very much. So, question. Who loves Ruth? ¿Quién ama a Ruth? Who loves Ruth? Mario loves Ruth. Mario, right? Mario. So for that reason, who is representing Mario? And Mario is the subject. ¿Quién es el que ama? ¿Quién es el que hace la acción? Mario. Mario is the subject, right? Entonces cuando usemos el who como sujeto, no vamos a usar auxiliar, ¿ok? Now, let's go to the other example. Ahora usemos who Teacher, como, como objeto. It's Solo like an, an interchange. Who for no, Mario? No, 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 wait. No, no, it's not an interchange. 
Pero ya les explico, ya les explico. Ok. Who does Mario love? ¿A quién ama Mario? Ruth, right? A Ruth. Ok, Mario. La pregunta aquí es, ¿estamos preguntando sobre el sujeto o estamos preguntando sobre el objeto? Estamos preguntando a, sobre quién hace la acción, sobre quién visita, sobre quién ama, o estamos preguntando sobre quién recibe la visita o quién recibe el amor. ¿Qué estamos preguntando? Esa es, eh, como dijéramos, la explicación. El que hace la acción y el que recibe la acción. Cuando el que hace la acción está como el who, no usamos auxiliar. Pero cuando el who es objeto, sí usamos el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Another example. Teacher, sorry. Yes. En qué es, eh, ¿se puede responder solo Mario estrictamente? ¿O no, Mario no, no, no. Mario no. Love Ruth. Ah, Mario, okay. the boy, the man, the champion. <laughs> Whatever, any answer, right? It's not important. The, 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 the important is that you describe what is the subject, right? Okay? Understand, Mario? Do yeah, want, teacher, thank you. Do you want another example? ¿Quieren otro ejemplo? It is ejemplo? clear. O, o, o ya está. Another example. Another example, Please. okay, good. Now, let me see. We're going to use Marcela, right? Who gives the money? No, who gives the semita? <laughs> who gives the semita, right? Okay. Uh, Give. Gives. Who gives? Uh -huh. Give, no, gives. Because we don't use the auxiliary. When you don't give the when do you don't use the auxiliary when you don't use the auxiliary you add an extra s right now who gives the semita Marcela right so who is the subject quién es el sujeto quién es la que da la semita Marcela 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 okay good and then Vamos a ver cómo lo ponemos aquí, a ver si no me confundo. Who does... No, no, vamos a ver, quiero ver cómo, cómo compongo aquí para que me entienda. Eh, who does... Ajá, who does... Uh, Marcela... Give... De semita, right? De semita. Ajá. Aquí entraría otro suje, otra, otra persona, otro, porque la, la semita no, no es una persona, ¿verdad? Entonces sería de student. ¿A quién le da Marcela la semita? A los estudiantes, ¿verdad? Good. Entonces aquí el who es el sujeto, la, la persona que da la semita. Ya comprometimos a Marcela a dar la semita. Ok. Y en la segunda, el who es el que recibe la semita. ¿Y quién es el que recibe? Los estudiantes. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? ¿Understand? Y en este caso usamos las cuatro partes. W is word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. Right? Good. Now, let me show you something. Let me show you something here. Ok. Don't use do or does with who if the question is about the subject, right? Si estamos preguntando como el sujeto, no vamos a usar ni do ni does, right? Always use the third person singular form to ask question with who, right? About the subject. Siempre vamos a usar la tercera persona singular, ¿eh? Visits. Example, right? Who does live here? ¿Quién es el que vive aquí? ¿Quién es el que vive aquí? You know? Incorrect. Why? Estamos usando el das. Ya dijimos que no se puede usar el das. Okay, who live here? Incorrect. ¿Por qué no le hemos agregado la S al verbo, ¿eh? Who lives here? Ah, muy bien. Aquí no usamos ni el auxiliar. Y al verbo le agregamos la S, ¿ve? 
¿Por qué es esto? Porque who es el sujeto. Estamos preguntando quién es el que realiza la acción. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? ¿Questions? Just, just give me a second to copy. Oh, analyze. <laughs> ok, Saúl. Thank you. Ya le vamos a dar participación a Saúl. Thank you, Saúl. Welcome. Analyze and make question, please. Hoy sí vamos a terminar tempranito. Solo quiero saber quién se va a quedar conmigo. Diez minutos. Los candidatos son Marcela, Mario, Marlon, May. Yes, no digo nada más. Sorry. Mar Mar Marcela. Marcela, ok, thank you, Marcela. Ok, ya no, no me quedo. Sí. Ya no digamos más. Marcela se va a quedar con nosotros. Yes. Ten I stay with you tomorrow, teacher. Excelentoso, Mario. Prepare the semit and the coffee for tomorrow, please. <laughs> ok, good. Now, no questions? Ok, so let's continue, right? Uh, esto creo que hicimos un poco. Who takes out? Aquí tenemos Mario, más, más ejemplos. Who takes out the garbage? My father does, right? Who makes dinner? Who washes the dishes? Ah, here, look. We're going to make an exercise. Listen. Vamos a hacer otro ejercicio aquí, ok. I will ask, ask this question. Listen. Is a subject or is an object? El who is a subject or object? Subject or object? Yes? No. Subject. Number one. Subject or object? Subject. Subject, right? Very good. Subject. Why? Because no, miren, porque no hay auxiliar y el verbo lleva una S, ¿ok? Entonces estamos preguntando quién es el que saca la basura, right? In this case, my father does. My father does. Number two. Teacher, a question. Tell me. So, if we don't have an auxiliar, mm -hmm. we got to understand is who like a subject. Perfect. It's totally true. Okay. That's thank it. You. Oh, thank you. Good commentary. Excellent commentary. Okay. Number two. Who makes dinner? Subject. Subject. Subject, right? My mother does. <laughs> Who washes the dishes? Subject. 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 Subject, right? Who does the laundry in your house? Object. Mm -hmm. What does? Who does the laundry in your house? Aha, uh -huh. aquí hay una cascarita. Yes. Why? Because does is not auxiliary. Is the main verb, el verbo principal. Um, so? Das, teacher. Das is not the auxiliar. No es auxiliar. Es el, es el verbo principal. Yes? Why is the main verb? Because the action is does the laundry. ¿Cómo se dice lavar la ropa? Do the laundry. ¿Cómo se dice hacer la tarea? Do homework. ¿Ok? Entonces, ah. cuando digo do homework, el do no es auxiliar. O en tercera persona, does homework, ¿eh? Cuando digo do the laundry, el do no es auxiliar, sino que es un verbo principal. Do the laundry, right? Yo no sé si los estoy confundiendo. No, está, está difícil, pero es de mucho repasar. Lo que pasa es que sí. lo que yo entiendo que en, en do the Does the laundry es toda la frase lo que convierte el verbo. El verbo, correcto. Y como eh, al verbo se le agrega S, en este caso, como es un verbo irregular, ¿se acuerdan? 
no le agregamos S, sino que ES. Por lo tanto, el DAS es un verbo principal. Entonces, who es sujeto. Miren que estoy preguntando, ¿quién lava la ropa en tu casa? Eso es lo que estoy preguntando. ¿Quién es el sujeto? ¿Quién es el que hace la acción? ¿Quién es el lavador de ropa? ¿Ok? Like you remember, right? Hello? Yes, hello. Ah, eh, yes. ¿Lavan ropa ahí? Disculpe. No. Uy, qué sucios. <laughs> ok. Good. Now, next one. Who watches TV after dinner? Subject or object? Subject. Subject, correct. Subject. Because watches, right? Who takes a shower in the morning? Subject or object? Uh huh. Subject or object? Object. object. No, subject. Sujeto, porque ahí está. ¿Dónde está el auxiliar? Who takes a shower? No está el auxiliar. <risa> todos son sujetos. Todos, todos estos who son sujetos, ¿ve? Es a little bit frustrating. <risa> no, why frustrating? <risa> no, Mario, come on. It's difficult, but no frustrating. Yes, difficult. a little bit. Yeah, come on. Be positive, Mario. Come on. Yes, okay. Es que es sencillo, miren, ustedes tienen que visualizar si este, o sea, lo que estamos preguntando aquí es eh, ¿Quién hace la acción o quién recibe la acción? ¿Ok? ¿Quién, este es el que hace, ¿Quién es el que hace la acción? ¿Quién es el sujeto? ¿O quién es el objeto? ¿Quién es el que recibe la acción? ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Regresemos al ejemplo del, del visitador, del tío. Y van a ver que, que es fácil entenderlo. Permítame. No sé por qué no se borraste. Ok, ahí está. Ok, vamos al visitador. Aquí dice, ¿Quién visita a tu tío? Mi papá. Él es el sujeto, él es el que hace la acción. Ok, entonces si yo pregunto, ¿Quién es el que visita? No uso auxiliar. Si yo digo, ¿quién come? ¿Quién bebe? ¿Quién, quién es el que eh, recibe clases? ¿Quién es el que da el dinero? ¿Quién es el que, el que le va al Madrid para bajarle puntos, verdad? Ok, entonces, ¿quién es el que recibe, hace esa acción? Pero cuando yo digo, y, y mira, ¿y tu papá a quién va a visitar? Estoy preguntando qué. Estoy preguntando quién recibe la visita, quién recibe la acción. No el que la hace. No el que hace la visita, no el que hace la acción, sino que el que la recibe. Y si se fijan que cuando uso el who como objeto, ahí en medio de la pregunta hay un tipo. Cualquiera puede ser mi papá, mi hermano. o que, ¿Quién es el que te hace bromas? Mi hermano. Entonces, ese es mi hermano, ese es mi papá, ese es mi tío, el que, el que esté ahí en medio. Ese es el sujeto, miren. Aquí está, ¿ve? your father. Your father, ¿eh? Este es el sujeto, ¿ve? Entonces, cuando who es el que recibe la acción, hay un tipo ahí en medio. ¿Ok? Perdón que lo use así, Mario, pero voy al ejemplo otra vez de, de, de usted y su mamá, ¿verdad? Cuando digo, who does Mario love? ¿A quién ama Mario? El tipo de la película. <ríe> ahí es Mario, ¿no? Mario es el sujeto. Entonces, en la pregunta estoy mencionando el, el, el sujeto. Lo que no estoy mencionando es quién es el que recibe la acción. Eso quiero saber. ¿Quién recibe el amor de Mario? ¿Quién recibe la visita de ya? Entonces, cuando eso sucede, uso el auxiliar, uso un sujeto y el verbo. Miren. ¿Entendido? O los confundí más. Glenda, deme luz, por favor. Entendido. Ah, ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Chris, ayúdeme. ¿Me entendió, Chris? Discrepo. Oh. Creo que esto nos, 
nos va a estar generando confusión. Creo que deberíamos practicarlo un poco más y de, dedicarle un poquito más de tiempo. Ok, pero recuérdense que esto es, no crean que es muy común, es decir, sí es común, pero no tanto como las demás preguntas. Eh, porque el, con el who, si se fijan, no hacemos todas las preguntas, ¿no? Entonces, solo un, ca un caso especial con el who. Nada más. De igual, where, when, how, de ahí todos los demás son iguales, miren. Aquí tengo las preguntas. Dice, what time do you get up? Eh? Where do you eat lunch? ¿A dónde almuerza? Right? Todas llevan las cuatro partes. WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. Esto sí lo hemos entendido, ¿verdad? Que hay cuatro partes. Entonces, la única que se sale el guacal, el único que se sale el guacal, es este who. Eh? ¿Ok? Y sí, en check. este caso, solo el eliminamos el auxiliar y al verbo le agregamos una S. Solo eso cambia. Ajá, yes, Glenda. Sí. Glenda y luego Chris. Ajá. O sea que eh, el, el who se puede usar para hacer dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. Excelente, yes. Uh, puedo preguntar quién es el que realiza la acción y puedo preguntar quién es el que recibe la acción. Ajá, quién es el que recibe la acción. Ok, otra vez el ejemplo de, de, del visitador, ¿verdad? En la pregunta 1, who visits your own, estoy preguntando quién es el visitador. ¿Quién es el que hace la acción? ¿no? Eso estoy preguntando, eso quiero saber. Recuerden que al final lo que la base del lenguaje es cuál es nuestro propósito al hablar. <ríe> Ese es el propio asunto, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando yo quiero, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, yo tengo frío, yo tengo calor, yo estoy expresando que, que tengo frío, que tengo calor, ¿no? Yo estoy expresando que lo que quiero saber es quién es el sujeto, quién es esa persona que realiza la acción. Entonces, en este caso, who es el sujeto. Pero si yo quiero saber quién es la persona que recibe la acción, ¿ok? Entonces, el who sería un objeto. Y en este caso, ya puedo utilizar el auxiliar. Y el verbo, miren, ya no le agrego una S. ¿Por qué? Porque ya estoy usando el auxiliar, ¿ve? Pero en el primer caso sí tengo que agregar, agregarle la S porque el who no lleva auxiliar, ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos? Ok. Eh, ¿Vemos el ejemplo de Mario o, o ya está? No, estamos bien, Mario. Ok, good. Excellent. Now, let's continue, right? Now I have some personal questions. Ready? Question number one. Maybe. What time do you get up on weekdays? Oh, in the morning. What time do you get up? Maybe. No sé. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. Uh, what? Marlon, what time do you get up on weekdays? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. What time? You can say, Marlon, I get up at, because it's what time, right? Marlon? Ah, ya está Saúl también. Ajá. Saúl, ya yeah. Saúl, what time do you get up on weekdays? Ay, no, que Ok, give me a second. Vamos a apagar los micrófonos, perdón. Hoy sí, encienda su micrófono, eh, Saúl. I get up. I get up at nine o'clock. At nine. Oh, what? Nine o'clock, Saúl. Oh. Yes, teacher. Excelentoso. I get up, at, se despierta a las nueve de la mañana. Uh. Es la maña del trabajo, es el madrugar, no porque yo durmiera. Ah, ok, good. Pero oigan lo que dice Saúl, madrugar a las nueve de la mañana. <risa> ok, se va al pollo campero, echarse su cafecito, ¿verdad, Saúl? Ok, now. Uh, Mario, please. Where do you eat lunch, Mario? I eat lunch... Uh, usually uh, at at this at the school at the school right mario usually eats lunch at school thank you 
Não. É... Já lhe perguntamos a Maybe, verdade? Marlon, Mario, Marcela. What do you do on weekends, Saturday and Sunday? What do you do? Usually, I usually. I usually Lavo ropa, no. se me fue. Do you usually do? Watch, watch. No, do, do. I, do. do. I usually do. I usually watch. No, no teacher. Do Help me, the please. Laundry, right? Do the laundry. Laundry. Do the laundry, right? I usually yes. do the laundry, right? Do the laundry. So Marcela usually does the, lo the laundry on weekdays. Weekend, sorry. Saturday and Sunday, right, Marcela? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, tell your husband that he can help you too. You and your husband do, do the laundry. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marcela. Now, let, let's go to the next question. <laughs> okay, uh, Jorge, please. Uh, Jorge, where do you go shopping? Uh, I usually um to I usually go to the I don't know multi plaza <laughs> multi plaza oh, o sea multi plaza thank you very much. <laughs> Me dio pena decir show, eh, shopping center. Oh, shopping center. Bájeme ese. Eh. <laughs> ok. Good. Now, no, next one, please. Eh, Glenda. What books or what magazines do you read? Mm, I usually read uh, El Principito. Ok. El Principito. I read El Principito, right? No, in English. The, the Prince. Princess. The Little Prince, sorry. The Little Prince. The Little Prince, right? Okay. Nice. And um, let me see. Ana Maria, please. What TV programs do you watch, Ana Maria? I watch the programs. Mm -hmm. mm, notice. News. 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 Noticia, right? News. I watch news, right? Aunque no ponen triste las noticias, babo. Mucho, mucho atropellado, yeah. mucho precios altos de... Okay. Mucha guerra, ¿verdad? Why do you study English? Why do you study English, Dagoberto? You say because because I like to learn another language, language. Another language, right? Because I like to learn another language. Okay, that's it. Very good, right? So, any question about the information question? Hay preguntas todavía de cómo, no, teacher, cómo no. hacer preguntas de información? Yes? No. Solo ahí nos quedamos un poco sorprendidos con el who, ¿verdad? Nada más. Pero de ahí, yes. de ahí todo lo demás creo que está claro. Claro, como, como claro. <laughs> okay, good. Now, um, let's go to the presentation of today. Los últimos, bueno, ya nos pasamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, la presentación de ahora la vamos a ver mañana, porque ya no nos quedó el tiempo. <laughs> Sorry, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos vamos a, a, a mimir. Me quedo con, con Marcela solamente, please. Los demás ya les tomé la asistencia, así que. 
Let's go to sleep. To Thank me. you, teacher. Sí. Thank you. Bye. Have a good night, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Only Marcela. Stay with me, Marcela. Hello, teacher. Aquí estoy. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. Okay, good. Now, do you have any question, Marcela, about the class? Any specific? Yes. Okay. Who? Who? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. eh, yes. Difficult, pero... Sí, vamos a verla eh, otra vez. Lo voy a repetir. Y hay voy que a poner, repasar. Le voy a poner más ejemplos, eh, Marcela. Ok. Pero vamos a repasar el... La diapositiva, ¿dónde está esto? ¿Sí? Ok, aquí estamos. Uh. Entonces, eh, ¿entiende las dos visiones de las preguntas con Hu? ¿Qué preguntamos sí, en una y qué, qué preguntamos? Eh, está dígame. preguntando, está preguntando, la primera es, ¿quién visita? Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? ¿Y la, segunda? y la segunda es, ¿a quién? ¿A quién visito? ¿Quién es la persona visitada? Correcto, muy bien. Vaya, eh, eh, mi, vaya, mi duda vaya, es, es vis, cuando usamos visit, el... Le agregamos la S, ¿no? Ajá, nos mencionaba. Sí. sí, sí. ¿Verdad? Entonces, el, mi confusión es en la segunda pregunta. Uh -huh. Who does? Ajá. Eh, ¿Por qué usamos el auxiliar? Ajá. Esa es la pregunta. Ah, muy bien. Usamos el auxiliar porque eh, cuando... Es otra persona la que realiza la acción, en este caso, your father, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Sí. Ya se convierte en otro sujeto. O sea, en, no en otro sujeto, porque es el mismo sujeto, sino que, eh, se lo voy a explicar así, perdón. Vamos a uh -huh. ver si le reestructuro la explicación. Porque eh, el sujeto no es who, sino que el sujeto es otra persona. En este caso, el sujeto es your father, mire. Podríamos ¿Ah? decirlo como una para una tercera persona. Mm, no, 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 no es así, no. Es, eh, vaya, el, el asunto es quién es el sujeto. ¿Sí? Esa es la propia pregunta. Es decir, okay. aquí lo que usted debe focalizarse es quién es el que realiza la acción. En la primera, el que realiza la acción es who. ¿Sí? Ok. Realiza vale. la acción. Who. El que realiza la acción es who. Entonces, ¿qué quiero saber yo con la primera pregunta? ¿Quién es esa persona que realiza la acción? ¿Quién es la persona? Ajá. ¿Quién es el que visita? ¿Y, quién agarró ¿Sí? okay. y en la segunda, quiero saber, no el sujeto, porque el sujeto aquí lo tengo, aquí está, mire, el padre es el, el, que, el que anda de vago. Visita. El que realiza, anda... Ahí anda por la unión, Visitando ¿verdad? al tío. Ah, ah, correcto. Entonces, el who no es un objeto, es un sujeto, perdón, es un objeto porque recibe la acción. La vale, vamos a ver, vamos okay. a ver aquí. Le voy a poner otro ejemplo, Marcela. Le voy a poner otro ejemplo, bye. Who teaches English, right? Sí. ¿Quién enseña inglés? ¿Quién es el que enseña inglés aquí en esta clase? Ahí podría contestar con su nombre o tengo que decir... The teacher. The teacher, The right? The teacher. Ah, ok. Oh, teacher. Entonces, ¿qué es, lo, ¿qué es lo que estoy preguntando? ¿Quién? ¿Quién realiza la acción? Ok. ¿Quién es el que hace la acción? O ¿Quién enseña, no? ¿Quién enseña? El teacher, ok. And who does... The teacher teach. ¿A quién le enseña el teacher? A Marcela, right? Ok. Entonces, aquí estoy preguntando quién es el que enseña o quién es el enseñado. El enseñado. Ah, ok. En este caso, la enseñada. <ríe> okay. La enseñada soy a yo. 
<risa> yes, ok. A usted le enseño yo, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿usted sería okay. sujeto o objeto? Suena feo, pero... <risa> no, pero... sería objeto. Objeto, porque usted recibe sí. la acción. La acción. Ok, y recuerde que les dije que cuando el who es un objeto, ahí en medio hay un tipo, ¿verdad? Hay un alguien. Un alguien. Este, alguien que está haciendo la acción. Está haciendo la acción. En este caso, el teacher es el sujeto, mire. Who no es el sujeto, el sujeto es teacher. No, es teacher. Ahí hay un tipo en medio, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver el ejemplo de, si quiere lo voy a poner eh, como suyo este ejemplo, para que lo, me lo entienda mejor. Eh, me regala el nombre de su mami. Marcelo. Maura. Maura, ok. Who loves Maura, right? ¿Quién es la persona que ama a Maura? Marcela. Ah, Marcela. Entonces, ¿quién es la persona que da el amor, que, que ama? Marcela. Marcela. Sería... Ella, eh, Marcela sí. es el sujeto. El que hace sí. la acción es el sujeto. Ok, muy bien. Y en la segunda... Who does Marcela love? ¿A quién ama Marcela? Ajá. ¿Quién es la, el objeto del amor de, de Maura. Marcela? Maura. Maura es la que recibe el amor. De, entonces, okay. en el caso de Hu, aquí este Hu, ¿verdad? Es el sujeto. Y en el segundo caso es el objeto. El objeto. En objeto. el segundo caso. ¿Ve? Voy otra vez a lo, a los, al ejemplo objeto que puse. ¿verdad? En la primera es sujeto. Who. En la segunda, who es el objeto. Uh -huh. Who teaches English? Sujeto. Who does the teacher teach? Objeto. Uh -huh. Who loves Maura? Sujeto. Who does Marcela love? Objeto. Entonces... Cuando okay. el who es un sujeto, entonces nosotros eliminamos el auxiliar. Y como eliminamos el auxiliar, le agregamos una S al verbo. ¿Sí? Okay. En el segundo caso, como who es el objeto, entonces usamos la pregunta normal de cuatro partes. Okay. Uh, w word, auxiliary. Auxiliary. En ver. Las cuatro partes, las que usted me dijo ahora, ¿ya es? Entonces, en este caso, como nosotros usta, estamos usando das, ya no es necesario decir teaches, ya no es necesario decir visits, ya no es necesario Visit. decir love. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos incluyéndole el auxiliar, ¿ves? ¿Sí? Y cada vez que le metamos el auxiliar, el verbo queda igualito. Igual. ¿Good? Ahí más Good. o menos, ¿verdad? <risa> Una reseña personalizada sí. para Marcela ahí. Gracias, teacher. Bueno, puede ver el video Voy a llamar. mañana. Puede ver el video mañana ah. y, y repasarlo. Eh, incluso okay. esta, esta presentación ya la envié ayer al grupo. Si quiere repasarla también en, en el PowerPoint, ahí está el grupo de okay. WhatsApp. La puede descargar y puede verla y todo lo que usted quiera, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Tiene alguna, alguna otra duda, Marcela? Por el momento no, teacher. No, cuellos. ¿Qué le ha parecido no, la cuello. clase? ¿Difícil, fácil, aburrida? No, no es aburrida, me gusta mucho. Ah, ok. <risa> si no, me, gusta me, mucho. me avisa para que ahí Dudley nos dé unos ejemplos. ¿no? Yes, I can do it. Yeah. Me parece. <risa> <risa> okay, me parece que sí. Bueno, Marcela, solo recordarle que usted ha adquirido un compromiso con la inglesa ahorita, ¿verdad? Yo sé que en casita hay muchas cosas que hacer. En su trabajo hay muchas cosas que hacer, yo lo sé. Y a veces uno llega muy cansado, ¿verdad? Y ya practicar inglés, pues como que... No hay modo, es mañana, decimos, mañana nunca llega. Así Entonces, vengo desde hace mucho tiempo, pero hoy ahorita, no. Ahorita con todo, ¿verdad? Entonces mi consejo es que usted trate de aprovechar cualquier oportunidad que tenga para aprender inglés. Y la música es un buen ejemplo, un, un buen recurso para aprender inglés. ¿Usted se ha fijado, Marcela, que cuando usted de repente anda haciendo limpieza y de repente le viene a la mente una canción, ¿verdad? Sí. No sé, sí, una de Luis Miguel, por ejemplo. Tú la misma de ahí. Ahí empieza usted a cantar. ¿Y Exacto. por qué es eso? Porque las canciones se graban en una parte del cerebro, cere según los científicos, no según el teacher. ¿verdad? Correcto. Sí. En donde no se olvida. 
Entonces, ahora, por ejemplo, yo les mandé una canción, eh, Funky Town, se llama la canción. Sí. Ah, entonces, usted apréndase la canción, o vaya a YouTube y apréndase otras que a usted le gusten, ¿verdad? Le okay, recomiendo sí. de los 70, 80 y 90, que son <risa> más Excelentes. Sí, sí. Entonces, apréndase una canción semanal, Marcela. Una canción sí. semanal, ¿sí? Una pero así por es, semana. Una por semana, ¿sí? Ahorita están conmigo y yo les estoy enviando videos, pero después van a estar con otro teacher, no sé si les va a enviar el video, ¿verdad? Pero ustedes Exacto. por su cuenta, ya váyase a YouTube y ponga ahí la letra, la canción y ya, a practicar. Otro recurso Perfecto. que le va a ayudar muchísimo es ver películas de muñequitos en inglés. No, su, su, subtítulo en español, no, nada. Ok, no sé si tiene HBO, Netflix, sí, Disney. Sí. Ahí aprovecha, ahí está el recurso. Una película no. semanal, aunque sea por pedacito, la va viendo. Vale. Vale. ¿Ya? Si usted okay. se pone esa meta, hombre, le aseguro que ya en el básico 3 usted ya estaba así con el teacher. Yo voy a decir el teacher. Hola, ¿A qué sí, teacher? Esa es, es la idea. Esta alumna es buenísima, el, el teacher del básico 3. ¿vale? Y usted va Esa a decir, es la idea. En el básico 1, un teacher me recomendó esto. Va a decir, <risa> ok. Muy bien, eh, Marcela, si no hay más preguntas, no questions. No question, teacher. Ok. So, thank you very much. I see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye.